Hi guys, it's Sarah and this is my first full day using my chainsaw. I set myself uh, perhaps a too lofty goal of chopping one cord of wood. That didn't quite go according to plan as you'll soon see. On the plus side, I'm able to start my saw by myself pretty much every time now, so some progress there. We have a piece of land that has a road going through it and the city has decided to widen the road by 10 feet on either side. So now we have the woods on either side of the road for the whole length of our property that need to be cut down. I'm learning that it's not quite so simple as just going out and cutting down trees. There's a lot of preparation work to do. We have to clear a lot of brush. Um, we were lucky that there was a bit of a clearing on the side of the road that we're able to start from to make the trees fall towards that. Since we're cutting near the road, we have to be very careful not to send trees into the road itself. So you see here I'm clearing branches and then it's not just cutting the branches, it's uh, moving them out of the way and piling them up out of the way so we don't trip on them later. A lot more of that was involved than I had anticipated. So most of my day was actually spent just clearing branches, moving branches, clearing branches some more, moving, piling branches again and again and again. Uh, finally, once a few trees had been felled, not by me, I don't feel like I've had enough experience with my saw to really start uh, doing that yet, but um, once the trees were on the ground, then I got to cut them into 16 inch logs, so stove sized logs. You can see here I'm turning the, the log over, but I was actually um, spiralizing the wood more than cutting it through, so live and learn. For moving the logs, we have this tool, it's called a pickaroon. Uh, this one's from Lee Valley. It, it's uh, like a little hook that you stab into the, into the log and it's easier to kind of pull it. It works sort of all right. Um, I found the logs tend to come unhooked but maybe I'm just not whacking it in hard enough. That'll come with my lumberjack muscles in time. So you can see I've made a decent start. Observations so far are that I'm pretty good at spiralizing the wood, not so much making a straight cut, so I'll have to work on that. And also this is gonna take a lot longer than anticipated, so. My chainsaw bar is 14 inches and the logs I'm cutting, I'm aiming for 16 inches. So I'm kind of using my chainsaw bar as a gauge to get hopefully pretty close to the 16 inch mark. So you can see here, I have successfully managed to hit the ground with my chainsaw uh, a lot. And um, I noticed immediately that uh, it was much more difficult to make my next cut. So that was a pretty good indicator that uh, my blade was due to be sharpened. So I had to sharpen my chainsaw for the first time in the field. So my saw is already having a hard time cutting. So I have to take a little break to sharpen it. instructions so oh, we're there all the way around both sides and while I'm at it I'm gonna since my chainsaw is new this is the first time these are the first times I'm using it I'm gonna retension my chain a little bit there's a screw right here Add tension. Okay. So let's get the little, there's like little teeth in the track, they don't come all the way up. Should be good to go. 
right, let's get back to it. In this video, the trees that were felled and that I'm cutting are maple. So they're a much harder wood than I uh, was cutting in my previous video, the first time I ever used my chainsaw. And I did find there was a difference. My saw doesn't cut through them as quickly as through the softwood at all. It was actually a lot more time consuming to cut through the logs. So my goal of cutting one cord of wood definitely would have required a lot more time. The days are quite short since it's winter here. so since we didn't get to stay that late as uh, the sun was setting, I did not achieve my goal of cutting one cord of wood, but I learned a lot. After spending so much time sharpening the saw, I went back to work, but uh, much more conscientious of uh, how I used the saw and much more careful not to hit the dirt with it. I even took time sometimes to prop the logs up on other logs just to be absolutely certain that I wouldn't hit the ground again and uh, prolong the sharpness of my blade. The big takeaway from this day was that uh, I found that it's really worth putting a little bit more time and energy into preparing the site and setting yourself up properly. So it's just much easier to get around, you're not tripping on branches and you can uh, cut more easily and more ergonomically. I found that like if I took time to, to position the log in a more comfortable position, it was less strenuous really and would save me uh, a lot of hardship in the long run. So here's what I managed to uh, to cut today wood-wise and here's the trees that were felled that I didn't have time to, to get to. So that'll be for another day. Uh, looking forward to coming back and, uh, and getting this done. And then I'm kind of excited to start felling trees on my own. So hopefully in the next video we'll be able to start doing that. So see you guys soon. Take care.